Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we'll be talking about a tool which I guess a lot of you guys will be excited to know about. And just like the title, this tool will be able to make you create cloud from just to the images. And basically you're actually creating 2D clouds and I'm going to show you how this works. And so the name of this tool is Kumo Works and it is made possible by the same creator of Open Tunes. And you can find this on GitHub and you can use it for anything you want, be it personal or commercial projects. So let me show you how this works real quick. Uh, if you have this file open or if you go ahead and download it, if you have it open, directly here you can see our screen size. To move or uh, navigate around here, you just need to have to use the middle mouse button and just roll all the way in. You can increase the screen size from here and you can also increase the preview quality from here all right so how this work is like this now here within this cloud layer i have uh, a paint all right which is for the cloud so i can come here and just create a very tiny doodle so let's say this is the shape of the cloud i want all right and once you have done that all you need to do is just press enter on your keyboard and it's going to go ahead and generate or create the cloud for you so I'm just going to position this here and maybe create another one. But this time I want to click on add so I can create a separate cloud. I don't want to create multiple cloud on the same layer. So I'm going to come through and simply do this as well. All right. So now this is done. I can go ahead and also press enter and I'm having a different cloud. Now I have this cloud. I can also choose to change using presets the kind of cloud I want to get. So for example, we can go in and throw different kinds of modifiers or different kinds of noise, things that would definitely change the cloud depending on what you want to achieve at the end of the day. So let's say you're a manga artist or you're just a typical 3D artist that like using things like this for comps and you can see how very realistic this is. All right, so you can use this for your project. So let me just simply make one more and I'm going to do that directly here. Let's say we're making this very tiny one and I'm going to just simply press enter on the keyboard. And why I'm making this is because I want to show you how you can manipulate this stuff. So within the presets here, you can find it on the lower left hand corner. If I click and choose the volcanic smoke, for example, all I have to do is once I have that selected and press enter, it's going to go ahead and generate some sort of volcanic smoke like uh, cloud. So you can also make changes directly from here. And if you decide to tweak this cloud based on what you want to achieve, you can, let's say, come through and add some a couple of noise, add a couple of woolly here, and maybe some simplex, you know, just to play around to get what you want. And once you're done, you can just hit enter and it's going to reevaluate this and create a different kind of cloud. Okay, so now that we're done with this, you can also notice that we have something that looks like the sun here. And this is actually the sun that is used in lighting this cloud. So I can pick this up and I can choose to change the position of the sun in real time so you guys can see. So we can choose to do all of these amazing, amazing changes here. And once this is done, you position this here and automatically you can see that you're having a real-time feedback of what you want to get other things that you can play with is you can play with the camera angle you can uh, come over here and play with the sky depending on what you want to get and you can also play with the shape and once you're done you can go ahead and render this at any point in time if you don't value or if you don't get the kind of quality you're going for you can definitely click here and switch the qualities for what you want and so finally i know you guys will be asking now you're done with this how do you go ahead to render this of course you can render this and use it for something else and you can also choose to save this for later use so if we want to save you can hit the file button here and you know go ahead and save and if you want to render you can hit on this render button here and it's going to render this as a PNG file and you have to definitely specify a folder, choose the rendering quality that you want. If you want all of these clouds to be together, you need to make sure that you set it to be combined. If you want them to be separate, you need to say, uh, you need to set them to be separate. And if you just need them as individual piece without the background, you need to specify that here before you hit render. 
and with this you can create amazing amazing clouds so this is awesome i'm going to put all the links that is related to this in the description so you can go ahead and get a free copy of this and use it for anything that you want i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below and if you like this video simply give it a like and don't forget to share it with a friend and also keep an eye on the notification because we will be announcing the criteria for the giveaway this month and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss any upload that we're making next and until i see you guys next time with a tutorial update tips and tricks things like this peace